City Fire Merit Commission will come to order. I have five o'clock. Um, any comments before I start? Uh, call the order. Um, Paul Pollock, that's me, I'm here. Uh, Greg Deutscher. Mike Nyland. Present. Uh, Andrew Sperling. Present. And Desiree Nichols. Present. And thank you for taking the seat. We appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Pledge of Allegiance, if everybody would stand. And for those of you that were in the military and like to, would like to, you can use a hand salute. Everybody else, place your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Uh, election of officers. I guess we'll start with the president. Anybody have any thoughts? I'm going to elect uh, Mr. Sperling for president of the uh, Merit Commission. I'll second that motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess we'll go to a vote. <laughs> uh, can we make it unanimous? Uh, all those in favor of Mr. Uh, Sperling being president of the commission, please raise your right hand. It's unanimous. You got it. I'll pass the. You got an agenda? Uh, I have an agenda right here. Yes. Good. Yes. So I take over right now, huh? <laughs> How quick you rise in this world. Uh, okay, I guess the next um, is to talk about the approval of minutes. Uh, so we'll take a, a vote to, um, has, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from the um, February, what's the date on that? Okay. February, don't hold me to this, I think it was February 7th, but I'm not sure. So, not for the February 7th meeting, yes. February 7th meeting of the uh, Mission City Fire Merit Commission. Um, uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes, I'll have a motion to approve the minutes. I make a motion that we accept the minutes as written. I'll second. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please say so by raising your right hand. Uh, passed. Um, next order of business will be communication claims. Um, in terms of our claims, uh, f first thing I'll go through is the payment for the Fire Merit Commission, and we receive $150 a month uh, for each of us. And so, uh, Desiree, I assume you were sworn in in February? No, it was last week. Yeah, February. Very good. Uh, so that would make five of us, and it would be a total of seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, all those, uh, all those in favor, I'll make the motion that we approve the uh, payment for the fire merit commission. Second. All those in favor, please designate by raising your right hand. Okay. Motion and passed. the last one I have is for the attorney. That's five hundred dollars per month. Okay. And so uh, I would make the motion that we approve the five hundred for the attorney. Okay. I'll second that. Um, everyone who's in favor of that, please designate by raising your right hand. Okay, motion passed. Um, so that takes care of payroll and attorney's fees. Uh, budget report. Being well, on the new well, we have present. a situation right now that I'm going to have to look at. We came in, this was as of February the 28th, and there is a $10,000 uh, valuation in there that I'm not quite sure we, where it came from. I thought it would be for the books, uh, for the study for the uh, URE test. That's not the case. So we're going to have to find out how that happened, and I'll do that this month. Okay. Other than that, uh, everything else seems to be okay. Okay. Well, having um, nothing else to review there, is there any other questions on the budget that we'd like to talk about? Okay. Um, the opportunity here for to get a report from our city council representative, who is not here, I don't believe. Okay. 
or we'll waive that for the time being. Um, do you have anything for us as a report from our uh, com uh, from our commission attorney? I'm sure this is on the chief's report, but there is a meeting scheduled March 9th at 9. to review that ordinance and try to you know, tighten that up a little bit. Um, thank you, Chief, for getting that coordinated. That's all my report. Like to move next to the report from our local union rep 475. I got about three things actually. Okay. First, uh, he's not here tonight, but last month I uh, reacted to something Councilman Paul Presbolinski was saying. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of why I reacted the way I did. I'll do that outside of this meeting with anybody at any time. Um, I did apologize to Paul at the end of the meeting, and I'd like to do that publicly. Uh, I was kind of hoping he would be here tonight, but I want to do that publicly. I want to apologize to Councilman Paul Presbolinski for reacting the way I did when it should have been handled differently. Uh, and I do apologize for that. Um, moving on, uh, I got a phone call on February 22nd from our fire chief about an attorney call he had received. He gave this attorney my number. Um, that apparently this attorney is investigating whether Greg Deutscher is qualified to sit on the commission. And he wanted to know the union stance on this and if the union, if there was going to be a fight basically uh, over Greg Deutscher. I said if it was proven, basically if it was proven that Greg was not qualified to sit on the council or on the commission, what fight would we have? And we're not going to try to beat down or skirt the law for, uh, you know, to keep a guy on there if he is truly, legitimately not qualified. Uh, and if he is qualified, then Greg should fight that. Um, and that's, that's what I'll say on that. My, my, my other concern of that is, this obviously is a mayor's issue, and that's what I was told by the attorney. He was hired by the mayor. Now, I don't know if he meant he was hired by the mayor, and if he, you know, was he hired by the mayor on behalf of the city? Or did the mayor hire him on his own? So whose money is being used for this? I think that's an important question we should ask and we should find out. Is he using the city's money or is he using his own money? If it's his own money, then move on. You know, have at it. But if, if it's the city's money, then I want to know if he's doing this with every other commission and board within the city. Is he checking everybody else's uh, status as far as residency or qualifications to be on said boards or committees? Um, I don't know if you guys want to look into that, point me in the direction I need to go to look into that or whatever, but uh, I think it should be looked into as to where the money's coming from and if he's doing that with everybody else, if he is in fact using the city's money. Uh, and the third thing is, I know I asked last month, and you said the material's on the way. The question is, what are the individuals supposed to be studying uh, for the promotional test coming in September? What, is it the same material as the last time? Is it a new book? Is it, they would like to know. I mean, we're six months We out. thought it was on order. It isn't been, we're gonna get it on order. Okay. Um, and we, we will find out from that, but I assume it's gonna be fairly close to what you had the last time. And now, the reason, that's my assumption. And the reason why I asked is because I know on one of the books there is a new book out, a new edition. So I had been asked about that. I'm, I told them, I don't know. Start studying what you had the last time and I'll try to get more info. Uh, find out what it can, and that's what I'm trying to do on behalf of the department and, and, and women that want to test. Chief, tomorrow we make sure that this gets on order, okay? Can you and I, whatever we have to do to get it done, get books, the, uh, the books that they study? That's all I'm looking for, the editions, you know, the book, the editions and all that, so they can start. I agree. So, thank you. Uh, as far as I can tell, that would be it for us. Okay. We'll move on from a report from our fire chief, Doug Lebel. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to also welcome Desiree Nichols to the commission and look forward to working with you. Um, I'm going to start with anniversaries. Battalion Chief Howard Fuller, 38 years. Captain Dennis Watlin, 33 years. Captain Scott Felitha, 19 years. Deputy Chief Mike Jesneski, 19 years. Driver Operator Shannon Borders with 10 years. Driver Operator Jason Weiss, 10 years. Driver Operator Sean Baker, 8 years. <coughs> Firefighter Kyle Nyla, 4 years. Firefighter Joshua Hughes, 2 years. Firefighter Victoria Armstrong, 2 years. And Firefighter Scott Manns, 1 year. Uh, 
I would like to acknowledge and congratulate Barrett Taylor for being promoted to captain, Tony Sohobiak for being promoted to lieutenant, and Robert Hooper for being promoted to driver operator. Again, again, congratulations to all three. Their promotions will be an asset to the department. First order of business, uh, probationary firefighter Scott Manns uh, has completed all his uh, Requirements to be promoted to firefighter effective March 3rd, 2022. If you can please make a motion to promote him to or, yeah, promote him to firefighter off of probation. I'd like to make a motion to promote uh, probationary firefighter Mans to full Fire, uh, status of firefighter. Status of firefighter. March 3rd. As of March 3rd. So, okay. um, all those in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Motion passed. Second order of business. Uh, in October, I asked the commission their position on promoting for positions in the administrative office, and it was stated that the commission had voted to promote for these positions due to the 90-day clause in the Merit Ordinance Section 54-176 temporary positions. Due to the move that I made to the administration prior to this the discussion in October, I did not promote for that for a person. Because of that, we are at 23 drivers on shift. We should be at 24. So I ask the commission to promote the next driver on the list, please. If I could get a, a, a motion to promote the so next driver on the list. So no, no, no. Um, I'd like to make a motion to promote uh, the next driver on the list to make it for 24 total drivers on the Michigan State Fire Department. Uh, can I get a second? Second motion. Second motion. All those in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Motion passed. Thank you. Um, last order of business. Uh, like the attorney stated, we have a meeting on uh, Wednesday at 9 to noon if needed to start discussing ordinance changes that we feel necessary. Everybody feels necessary. So, see you Wednesday. Wednesday, I believe. Correct. Yeah. Very good. That's it from the Chief's office. Okay. Uh, do we have any old business? Bob, do you know if we have any old business? I'm sorry? Do you know if we have any old business to discuss? No, but I do have uh, commission comments, but I think oh, Mike does. I do have old business. Okay, very good. Um, with the incident that happened with the firefighters on 11 5 2020, the commission put it on the back burner to the outcome of um, a court case or whatever. I wasn't on the commission, you weren't. Us three weren't on the commission. Mm -hmm. I feel that it's um, that we need to have a executive meeting to discuss uh, what our next step is to do with these firefighters because that's what was made a motion I believe to put on the back burner until the outcome. Okay. Um, can that be done on Wednesdays? We have to announce that. Uh, before you don't know. Okay. So I'll work with um, Chief Legal and try to come up with a time that we can have executive meeting to talk about the recent uh, uh, scenarios that are related to uh, firefighters, Cleet, the quick bomb, and Swiss Day. Sorry. Swiss Day. Three firefighters in question. Okay. Sorry. Um, do we have any new business? Okay. Any comments from the public? No comments from the public. Any com uh, comments from any of the commissioners? Yeah, I have one that sure. revolves about a couple of things. But first of all, uh, there is a discussion in, in with the county council about uh, adding a type of tax. Uh, it would be a half percent tax on income in order to provide additional funding for firefighters, for EMTs, for police officers at all, and to at least bring them somewhat closer to the situations we have in terms of pay for uh, the, the firefighters, EMTs et al. in Lake County and in Porter County in somewhat less but still above us in St. Joe County. I think this is a positive and it will help and I certainly hope they pass it. However, I would also like to put into that that I would like to see two carve-outs. People who would not pay that tax. The first one is for the beneficiaries of individuals who are in the military and they use two terms, uh, killed uh, to defend your country or uh, died uh, in defense of your country. 
uh, they do get, they have a $100,000 uh, beneficiary policy. When you go into the armed forces, when I went in, it was 10000 so it's significantly less. But this is money that their beneficiaries are going to have to have uh, for the rest of, if they have kids, if they have wives, for the rest of their lives. I would like to see that exempted from this tax. I would also like to see exempted from this tax uh, disability payment that the federal government has awarded to individuals who have been in the military, many of whom will have been disabled because of having been in combat zones. Uh, you've all heard of some of the situations that go on in combat zones, and it's not nice. Let me just say that. Uh, they can have anywhere from a 10% disability up to a 100% disability. The federal government makes that decision. I would also like to see that exempted uh, from this tax. Other than that, I'm fine with everything else. Although I, I guess there's a, a, a plan out to also exempt Social Security. I have no problem with that one either. But those are my comments. But I do think the tax needs to pass. Are there any comments for other commissioners? Um, looks like with us extending the... Mate, I can't hear you, Mike. Uh, with us extending the uh, uh, application process to April 15th, I think we did it. Yeah. We're up to now 16 applicants, I believe. Yes. So doing that looks like it helped us. Oh, yeah. We got more. Maybe we can get another 8 or 10. It'd be great. Yeah. I don't know Probably too late, but she can the floor. The window uh, new business maybe we should discuss setting the we, we discussed the last time, Mikey, about setting the date for the actual test, and I know you've been postponing that to set the date. We need we have to close the applications, applications first and we talked about being late May, early June. So I would say yes till we see and then we have, we have to go through how many come in that are not good. And it, it's going to be late May, early June. It does take time uh, right. from the time we close the applications right. to mail out the letters at all. So, yeah. Probably more early June is looking like that. Is there any comments by other commissioners? No. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the March 7th uh, meeting of the Mission City Fire Mayor Commission. So moved. Okay. Second. We are in adjournment.